are making the city girls version of those beautiful Icarian pitarakia, what I like to call the longevity greens pies. I start with red onion, leek, scallion, and some chopped fennel bulb. I just want to saute that a little bit. The whole idea behind this dish, it's really about variety and a little bit of color and using as many sweet greens and fresh herbs as you can. It's my leek and scallion. So this is starting to cook down. I'm gonna add my fennel. I am gonna add butternut squash that I've grated, salted, and drained a little bit. It adds a certain sweetness. All right, this is ready. And I'm gonna get this off here and empty it into my mixing bowl. We'll get a little bit more olive oil in here. Now, in this mix, I basically have pretty much everything you can see here. I have chard, spinach, which is right here, what we call in Greek mironi, which actually means fragrant. The closest thing in an American market would be chervil. It's in the same family. So this is gonna cook down just like uh, my onions and leeks. And I'm glad to see that there isn't a whole lot of liquid left in this pot. Just mix this up. I'm gonna add my fresh herbs, already chopped up on this plate, maratho. And on this plate, I have mint, parsley, dill, and that mironi, the chervil. And really, any herb would work in here, and that's the whole point. Not necessarily to follow a recipe like this to the T. You want to be able to use what you can find. I'm lucky enough to have fresh oregano, and I have a little bit of marjoram back here. The aromas that are coming at me in this filling here, you know, it's, I feel like I have a little bit of a bowl of Icaria right in front of me. My filling is nice and cool, and I'm literally ready to roll my Icarian Longevity Filo Pies, and I'm using Filo Factory Filo to do that. Number seven for this recipe, which is a little bit thinner. It's really important to keep the filo covered. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle into two columns. A little bit of olive oil. And you can do all sorts of shapes. I'm, I want to approximate the shape of the traditional Icarian um, pitarakia, as they're called, the longevity pies. And I'm putting one more strip on top. You want to get the edges before anything else because that's what tends to dry out the fastest. These are pretty wide strips, so you can get a a good heaping tablespoon of filling in here. And this is really like rolling up a spring roll. You fold in the sides, it's very easy to work with the phyllo. Remember that the phyllo always has to be at room temperature when you're working with it. When you place it in the pan, remember to put the seam side down. I'm gonna brush this right away with a little bit of olive oil. There are lots of different shapes you can make with phyllo. So the next shape I'm gonna try just to show you are triangles. That's also a very classic way to fold them. So the way I do this is I roll in, fold in the bottom edge a little bit right there. And then it's kind of like if you've ever folded a flag, it's exactly the same technique. You're making right angles. So from corner to side, right? Tip to side. And remember, seam side down. Once I finish rolling these, I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. They wanna be nice and puffed and golden. That's what we want.
They look great. So crisp and golden. I can't wait to try one. See how flaky that phyllo is? That's exactly what we want. Wow, look at that. Just the right ratio of phyllo to filling. Mm. I am always really surprised, no matter how many times I cook this, at how complex that whole combination of greens and herbs can be. If I could wrap springtime on Yucaria in a phyllo packet, this is exactly what it would taste like.